mm. right? Uh, and I've long said one of the reasons I love games is just it's this kind of interdisciplinary space where you have art and music and, and narrative and technology all thrown together and no one person knows it all. So that's very, I'm excited about too. The one thing that what we found, because our team was more from the game side, mm -hmm. um, is, and this is just advice for anyone that's building, is one bit of advice we get is we worked in engine from the beginning as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um, that might sound maybe obvious, but I find that with generative AI, some folks will, it's just so accessible to open up Claude or open up ChatGPT and start typing and being like, look, I got this response back. I'm sure I can represent this in a game engine very easily. And that can sometimes be more challenging. So just we play tested all the time internally as a game experience as opposed to a technology experience. Mm -hmm. And that's something I think we have a long background We'll try to have a long background in the game industry. I'm sure Supercell has it, but I'm sure that the Innovation Lab, there'll be some folks that that'll be a little new to them. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. My founder instinct tells me that we should be so heavily focusing on really iterating all the yeah. time. And that's something that I'm trying to bring. That's also one of the value propositions. You were asking earlier, what can we bring? What's mm. unblocking? So one of the learnings we had from the first batch was also that these technical builders, they're amazing, but they have the typical engineering tendency of just waiting for it to per polishing it.